Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the problem from lead code. It's an easy problem. The problem name is count number of pairs with absolute difference k. So you are given an integer array nums and an integer k. Now you have to return number of pairs i j such that i is less than j and nums of i minus nums of j should be equal to k. The absolute difference between these two values. In simple terms, you have to just take out number of pairs or number of elements that you can take as a pair such that the absolute difference between them should be equal to k. That's the only problem. Now, because the constraints are pretty much small, as you can see, whenever you see con small constraints, try to think in a very brute force way, whatever brute force way you can think of. And that's it. The problem is also very simple. You will just take every single pair out of this particular num array and just find out the absolute difference if it is equal to k then just print the answer else uh, you just keep on increment the total number of pairs else you just leave it and just print out the total number of answers in the end that's it so as you can see in the problem uh, solution as well that i have total number of uh, pairs that i have to uh, output in the problem is total stored in here uh, it did over uh this these are two nested for loops one is the outer for loop for i and the other is for inner which is j and as you can see i is here and j is i plus one so that it will always be greater than uh, i and uh, just take out every pair and just find out the absolute difference between these two uh, values that is i and j and if it is equal to k then just increment the total that i have found out a particular pair and just in the end just return the total number of uh, pairs that we have found out that's it. it it is not too much difficult to understand and not too much difficult to code as well but i thought to just make a video out of this problem as well because a lot of students are as beginner and they might be requiring out solution for these problems as well so that's it uh if you know this type of simple problems you can just skip out this video as well so that's the overall logic and the code part for this particular video i hope you understand something out of it if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next one thank you coding and bye